zombie, Zombieland. Of course. It had to be a clown. This film chronicles the adventures of several survivors of a zombie apocalypse with the perfect combination of humor and terror. Which coincidentally is the best thing about Zombieland. A showdown at an amusement park with a mob of the undead leaves our unfortunate hero with the choice to either face his clown phobia or become just another snack. Time to nut up or shut up. As if clowns weren't scary enough. Though this makeup wearing walker's appearance is short lived, there's no denying he leaves an impression that makes carnivals a place you'll always want to steer clear of. Number seven, clown or the laugh, amusement. Hello, it's Tabitha, the Carmine's niece. <laughs> slasher flick, a babysitter encounters a clown in her aunt's home that has a few tricks up his sleeve. Boys, listen to me. We have to hide. There's a bad man, a very bad man in the house. He just wants to play. No, don't! But Tabby said he just wanted to have some fun. In an already creepy room full of clown paraphernalia, this life-sized doll is more than meets the eye as he kills people in his search for revenge. <laughs> menacing laugh and the pure joy he finds in both stalking and murdering his victims, this serial killer certainly chose a costume that reflects his horrific nature, what with his blood red hair and clown nose, all while keeping us on the edge of our rocking chairs. I'm looking right at it. Tabitha. Number six, Crazy Joe Davola, Seinfeld. Black tie, Baliachi, the great clown, the great, sad, tragic clown like you. He's one guy that proves not all clowns are happy or tragic. Some clowns are just nuts. Make us laugh, clown. Yeah. Nice face, clown. Make me laugh, clown. <laughs> Angry at Jerry because he allegedly put the kibosh on his NBC deal and sad because Elaine dumped him. You're not <laughs> Joe Davola lets his mental problems get the better of him and lashes out at the people he thinks have wronged him. Oh, there's that clown again. What does he want from me? Look, I'm serious. I'm not kidding. I don't have the core. That guy took it. I don't want any money. Dressed as the saddest clown, Pagliacci, Crazy Joe shows up at a performance of the opera to get his revenge. He's one clown you don't want to meet in a dark alley. Are you still scared of clowns? <laughs> yeah. Number five, clowns, killer clowns from outer space. How are we supposed to get in and see the show? When a race of evil aliens that resembles clowns lands on Earth, their bloodlust for human flesh, combined with sweet and creative ways of killing their victims, are the stuff of nightmares. Oh, pizza. <laughs> They're wrapping their prey in cotton candy-like cocoons or using puppets to lure them into their hands. This cinematic take on clowns is simply terrifying. What are you gonna do? Knock my block off. <laughs> We'd hate to see what their home planet looks like. These clowns and their circus-inspired killing spree, paired with their deadly extraterrestrial powers, make them unforgettable horror fuel that will keep you up at night. Don't worry, they. All we want to do is kill you. Number four, clown doll, poltergeist. His chaotic mannerisms and unpredictable behavior, combined with a menacing grin and homicidal tendencies, we've narrowed down the Joker's most terrifying big screen depictions to the memorable performances by Jack Nicholson in 1989's Batman. <laughs> <Boo>. <laughs> Whichever you prefer, there's no denying the Joker is one of the scariest clowns to ever grace the silver screen. Number two, Captain Spaulding, House of a Thousand Corpses, and The Devil's Rejects. Howdy, folks. Got blood, violence, and freaks of nature? Well, then come on down to Captain Spaulding's museum of monsters and madmen. <laughs> 
In the first of these exploitation horror flicks, we meet a gang of backwoods murderers whose sadistic method of torture killing is as brutal as it is terrifying. <laughs> As the owner of a local gas station and proprietor of the Museum of Monsters and Mad Men, Captain Spaulding is the architect of the film's bloodshed and carnival of horrors. And with just the right amount of intimidating and endearing insanity, he is one crazy clown we love to be scared of. Last stutter, bitch. Here are some honorable mentions. <laughs> children that has haunted our dreams for decades. See you in your dreams. Oh, come back anytime. Bring your friends. A sewer-dwelling monster with the ability to morph into whatever you are most afraid of, Pennywise uses frightening intimidation techniques to keep your heart racing before making you his next meal. You all taste so much better when you're afraid. With a set of spiky teeth and a tendency to appear in storm drains, this is one clown you never want to meet. Oh, yeah. Flow down here. They all flow down here. Performed to perfection by Tim Curry, this TV adaptation's terrifying take on killer clowns is as scary as they get and is guaranteed to keep you frightened for years to come. Get out! Last chance, do you? Get out! Get out! Do you agree with our list? Which scary clowns keep you up at night? For more horror and movie entertainment top 10s published every 